This video reviews the tear film analysis that you can perform with your Medmont topographer. One of your options is the tear film analysis or a non-invasive option for assessing the tear film breakup time. When we select this test, this allows us to monitor not the shape of the eye, but the fluid layer on top of the cornea and look for that point where there's breakup, the percentage of the eye in breakup, and the degree of breakup. So as an example, we're going to follow the instructions down below, align the patient eye to the target. When we get into the appropriate range, the software will ask us to have the patient blink twice. And here we see the test has started. It's recognized the two blinks. We'll ask our patient to hold their eye open as long as they can until it reaches 15 seconds or the patient is in a position where they need to blink. And the test will complete when it either reaches a third blink or the 15 seconds has been reached. In this case, our patient was able to stay open for about six seconds, registering a tear film breakup time at 5.2 seconds. Let's click the right arrow and we can add any comments to this field that will show up associated with this specific test. If we're happy, we can click finish. Now that we're in a position to analyze the test, the colorized display is not showing us the cornea in terms of shape. It's displaying dark blue where the tear film is very smooth and even and red where the tear film is breaking up. So we're not assessing eye shape, power or elevation, but we're appreciating the reflection off the tear film that's overlaying the cornea. On the graph down below, we can observe how the patient's tear film moves towards stabilization after the blink. The zero along the y-axis here would be the beginning of the test or when the instrument recognizes the second blink. Then you notice the tear film is relatively stable for about two seconds. Then the tear film begins to destabilize where it reaches a tear film breakup time recognized at 5.2 seconds. So the tear film surface quality test will run for as long as the patient can hold their eye open to a maximum of 15 seconds. If the patient gets to a point like this one where they felt they needed to blink, then the third blink will stop the test. So two blinks to start, a third blink stops the test. In this case, we are able to recognize the tear film breakup time non-invasively, not using dyes that might change the natural homeostasis of the tear film. So this test can be a helpful tool to appreciate the non-invasive tear film breakup time of your patients. 